Hey, Don Copeland here, and you wonder why I'm smiling? I'm smiling because I'm right here with the DFX 24H4, our latest of our direct-to-film printers. And why am I smiling so much? Because this puppy is saving me five hours a week on samples I have to print every week. It is incredibly fast. It's a 24-inch wide forehead unit, that's the name, 24H4, that prints at a blazing about 145 linear feet per hour. We print 22 inches wide, you do the math. Typical full front shirts, you're gonna get in the area of 250 to 350 per hour off of the machine because you're typically gonna do two across. It's an amazing piece of equipment compared to other machines on the market, about as automated as you can get. Typically when I do a run on this for half an hour, 45 minutes, I might have to touch the machine three or four times total, whereas on a R2 head or other machines, you might be touching it every minute or two. It's a great machine, great footprint to it. Very, very, some, some really cool things that we've done. We don't just bring these machines in and ship them out to you. We, uh, we do a lot of things. We, we joined forces with the guys at Belkett a couple years ago, Belkett Technologies, and they're amazing in their ability to develop things. We've taken this machine, which was initially designed to be run off of 40 amp 220 for the, the shaker dryer, and the printer, it needs 10 amps at, two, at two, 220, so you'd probably put a 20 amp breaker in. You would have run this machine with either a 40 and a 20, 220 breaker, or 150 amp breaker, and, and plug. With the technology and some patent-pended technology we have right now, we're able to rework the wiring in the system and get this system down so everything runs on a 30 amp 220 plug. That's huge. Uh, big benefit to the to the cost of setup. If you're having to run the wiring, the difference between running a 50 amp plug and a 30 amp plug is very, very significant. Number two, one less plug to worry about because literally the printer plugs in to this unit itself. It's protected on a separate breaker so you don't have to worry about it being on a, on a, a system that has a heater and, and a motor in it. And it just, it saves you money. It saves you money on operation. You're only using 30 amps not 50 amps. It is, it's just a, uh, it's hard to describe. When we, uh, when we got the results back in from that, we were blown away. And for a lot of our customers, it could be a decision making factor. They probably already have a 30 amp available that they can go to. All right, so you probably, if you're looking at DTF, you probably look at a lot of the two head machines on the market, probably look at our two head machine and you know, kind of what kind of differences are we looking at? Number one is, as I mentioned before, speed. Uh, our two head machine, as a perspective, 40, 45 to 55 linear feet per, uh, per hour versus 145 or even a little bit faster depending on the, uh, the width of the graphics we're printing on this unit. So roughly triple the speed. And from a, an operator standpoint, everything is right here. Control central. Everything on the control panel here for the printer. Everything I need to control the actual shaker dryer right there. And then I look down here, probably one of my favorite things about it, other than the fact the blazing speed, is this is a, a circulation system. This literally runs this across here. This runs the powder across where the shaker is. Powder gets down to the bottom. On the bottom, inside of the machine, there's a secondary auger that takes the powder this direction. You see that metal pipe over here? That has got another auger in it that's actually returning the powder back up to the top. Benefit of that is no time to stop, having to reload the, the media, the, the powder during the middle of a run, and which usually means you have to pause at least a couple of the steps of the process. Uh, number two, it helps to break up the clumps that might form because the powder itself is hydrophilic. It just, it just makes it one, one more thing that just makes this really, really a, a seamless process when you're running the machine. Absolutely amazed. We've been working on this machine here probably three or four months now, and uh, just really gone live with delivery of the machines and, and whatnot, and we're still blown away at the things we're learning with the machine of how fast it is, how efficient it is, and how easy it is to operate. So uh, check out some of the video we're gonna show you here of the machine running, and you'll understand why I'm so excited.